Hello again people, it's Charlie and welcome back to another video on the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel. Hope everyone is alright as always today. So then, it's predicted 11 time ahead of our FA Cup third round tie against West Ham on Sunday afternoon. I don't usually do content around the Cup, because um, if I'm being deadly honest with you, I'm, I couldn't really care less um, about the result on Sunday. If Leeds win, then that's great, but if not, you know, we've got bigger fish to fry this season, I think, in terms of getting better in the Premier League. But I thought I'd just touch upon this weekend's game because I feel like it's going to be a great opportunity for our younger players to stake a claim um, and fight their way into our first team. So I just thought I'd do a predicted 11 based on Bielsa's press conference earlier on today. So then, just before I get into it, the message is always the same, people. Smash that like button, please subscribe and share all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And let's get into the video. So then, first up, let's just discuss some more injury news um if i'm honest it doesn't really surprise me anymore i feel like our players are just made of glass this season um obviously tyler went off in the game against burnley it's expected that he will be out for up to about three weeks to a month i think bielsa said um and gellart is injured as well after he had a ankle injury in training yesterday and he will be out for the same amount of time as Robert. So that's, worst case scenario, a month where we've not got Tyler or Joe Gellart. But the plus and the big um, great news is that Patrick Bamford is likely to play some part of this FA Cup game against West Ham. And all being well, if he can get through that without injuring himself again, then we will have Bamford available for the league game against West Ham next week. Um, and obviously the league games going forward, which is a huge plus because for me, with Tyler and Gellar out, the team that started against Burnley, I think, will be the same against West Ham with Bamford up top rather than Tyler, who started that game. I'd like to, I'd, I'd like to think as well um, that James would start over Harrison, if I'm honest with you, but we can touch upon that next week. For this game, I mean, it'll be interesting to see how Bielsa actually approaches this game. We all know that he's not big on the cup competitions, um, but you never know. He might want to go out and win this game. I think West Ham will play a lot of young kids in this game because um, I think they've got more. They've got more of a focus on trying to get. European football, um, so I don't feel like the cup will be a huge priority to them, but it isn't for us either, so it's kind of a really a nothing game for both teams. Yes, I understand the people that say, you know, every Leeds United game they want to win. I'd like us to win, but if we don't, I'm not really that bothered, if I'm honest with you. Um, so, into my predicted 11 then. As I said, it's a good opportunity for the young kids to have a go. Um... I do expect Melier to play in goal, though, because the only reason I say that is that in the League Cup games um, earlier on in the season, I thought that we'd see Klaassen have a go, but he played Melier against Arsenal and against Fulham and against Crew, So that's why I think he will play again um, against West Ham. Um, I think Cody Drame will start at right-back. Um, I think the centre-back partnership... I think Cock will start this um, alongside Hjelde. I think that's how you say his name, um, at centre-half. And then at left-back, I mean, it's it's hard to say. I think Firpo, because Firpo's probably the only out-and-out left-back. I think Firpo will probably play um, in this game. Now, in the CDM role, um, I think we should start with Bate. Only because I know people say, oh, we'll start for sure, but... I don't want to risk for sure. Um, I know he's had quite a good, um, consistent run in our side 
of late. But I just don't want to risk him in this game. I really don't. So I would start Lewis Bate in that role. And then on the right, I think Somerville. Just give him a go. You might as well. Um, for, um, then in front, I'm going to go with... Oh, I think I think Click may play um, alongside. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to change my mind. Play for sure in the holding role because I think there's no one else that can do that role. And then maybe and then maybe play bait alongside Click a bit further up. Um, and then on the left, probably Harrison. Um, and then up top. Now I would have said Gellart. I don't think, with Bamford, I don't know if he's going to maybe start him and then bring him off or do it the other way around. If Bamford starts, then fair enough, he'll start, but then he will come off. He's not going to play a full 90 in this game. But I think if Bamford doesn't start, I think Sam Greenwood will. Um, and then Bamford might have the, like, the last 15 or 20 minutes just to get some minutes under his belt. But that would be my team, I think, yeah. I mean... A mixture of first team and young lads. I think it would be a great um, opportunity for Hjelde to have a go, for Bate as well. Um, and obviously Somerville, who has played in our first team, but it would be a great opportunity for him as well, of course. So that would be my predicted 11. As I say, guys, this game isn't really of huge importance, if, if I'm honest with you. But it would be nice if the young lads could at least just go out and have a good game, um, no matter what the, the scoreline is. So, yeah, as I said at the beginning, hit me up in the comment section down below with all of your thoughts and opinions. What would your starting 11 be for this game, given the circumstances? Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button as well, and I will see you in my next upload, people. Thank you very much for watching.